All right, so it's an exciting day. You've got a new fork to throw on your bike, or maybe you're swapping out forks and selling the old one. Maybe you're just putting on a new headset for something a little bit nicer and newer. And everything, you're installing everything, it's going smoothly, you're super excited to try your new equipment, and then you run into a little issue. Which is this guy here, the Crown Race. Problem is, you don't have a Crown Race removal tool, and you don't want to mark up this fork Putting, uh, taking it off and putting on a new one. That's what this video is all about, is removal and installation of the Crown Race without any specialized tools. Let's get to it. I just wanted to say, this is my first time doing any sort of tech tip thing. So go easy on me, okay guys? Thank you. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna be removing this guy with some things you can get from the local hardware store. However, just so you know, it is always the best bet to just take it to the local bike shop where they have the right tools and the knowledge, and it's always nice to support a local small business and support somebody's dream. However, maybe they're closed, maybe you don't have a local shop, or you're just that avid DIYer, or whatever the case may be, these steps are gonna help you to remove this and put it on. So let's get started. So a lot of people use a screwdriver to pop this sucker off. I don't really like to do that because you can mar up and mark the heck out of this crown. And if you're selling the fork, you really don't want to do that. Plus you just like to keep your things looking nice. So I use a method using razor blades. Now the issue with razor blades is that they're sharp, so it can be dangerous. You can definitely cut your hand and everything. So if you are using this method, please, please, please be careful. Have adult supervision, you know, whatever it may be. I like to use a nice thick pair of gloves when I'm doing this and it just helps to reduce the risk of injury. You're also going to need a hammer for removal and then when we're installing it we're going to need a piece of PVC like so. This piece is an inch and a half PVC and it'll slide right over and go down to help us install that crown race. So let's remove this sucker. Okay, so I picked these razor blades up for 97 cents for a five pack. Now all we're gonna do is we're gonna take the beveled edge and we're gonna hold it in place right under the crown race and tap it in until it's in place. Then we're gonna take another razor blade and do the same thing from the other side. Like so. Then we start to get a little lift on the crown race. So then all we do is we continue to take razor blades and stack them up on top of one another and hammer them in. And you can see we're starting to get some separation. So continue to do so until it comes off. It's a little tedious, but it's not too bad in the long run. And it's really cheap. And then, once you get to a good point, you can take them, just kind of hammer down on the blade, like so. And 
and boom. There it's off. We didn't have any real bad marring or anything. And we're good to go. It took me about five blades per side. And it came off really well. See here, and it is removed. So now we can get on to installation. Okay, so you have the crown race removed and now you wanna put it onto a new fork or put a new crown race on this one or whatever it may be. Simply take it, slide it down, take your PVC, put it on and you can see here that it's gonna make contact on that uh, crown race from all sides. Now, all you need to do is support the fork, come up the PVC and And that's it. It is installed and ready to go. So it's pretty simple stuff. Again, just PVC, some razor blades, hammer, and some nice gloves just to protect yourself. I used about 10 razor blades. It was 97 cents per five pack, so $2 there. This sucker was like $2.30, and it is like an inch and a half by like two foot or so, and we're good to go. So a lot cheaper than buying the actual crown race removal tool, and it's just something you can do from home. Now, you know, I use the stand. You can probably just do it on a bench top or whatever it may be. Anyway, if you know a better way, throw it in the comments. I'd love to hear it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful, and this is where if I had a really cool catchphrase, I would throw it in, but I don't, so I won't. Have a good night. Pick up this mess, bring it in my wife's car, kills me. I better pick up these razor blades so I don't get a flat in it. She kills me more. Nah, she won't kill me. She's an awesome lady. I love her.